if Gay sat up there at the podium yesterday, well, it wasn't really a podium, it was more like a Zoom, but, and sits there and says, you know, we gave it a day, but we're over it, we're going to move on to this, the next game, and we've got to just try to put together a winning effort, I'd be like, BS. Be, you don't just get over that one because you're 0 and 11. You are you're still working hard. I mean, Gase is clearly not good at this job, but he's still working hard. It's not working. The players are putting in all of this effort. These coaches know they've got the guillotine over their their necks, and to lose like that, basically because your defensive coordinator goes rogue, to lose like that, that one of your coaches lost the game for you on one play by being an idiot. You don't get over that in 24 hours. You don't just focus on the next game unless you're Belichick, unless you're a total robot. Maybe Belichick could do it that way. I mean, Belichick would never allow his defensive coordinator to call that play ever in a million years. It would never happen. But if you lose like that, I mean, my guess is that maybe Belichick, let's go back to the Miami Miracle two years ago on all those laterals and Gronk is out there on the defense and it just ends up being a disaster. Maybe Belichick's able in that way to turn it on for the next game. But most, if not all, coaches would let that linger. Like, we lost that way. And if you're 0-11 and you go to 0-12 losing this way, it doesn't just go away. And so I got to say, Mraz, while I have taken my 2 by 4 to, to, to Adam all season long and for two years, really, I actually kind of respected him being honest, like, yeah, we're in a funk. We were in a funk, and we need these players. This is where they're valuable to pull us out of it because, you know, they're energetic, and we as coaches are devastated. I I understand that. I can I can get where he's coming from on that, and I like that he was honest about it. 